everybody, it's Karen from Happiness is Homemade. Hope you all are having an awesome day. I just want to take this time right now to welcome any new subscribers and welcome back any returning viewers. So yes, thank you so much for uh, watching me. Uh, so this will be a yarn chat. It's been a little while. I'm a little bit tanner. <laughs> uh, it's been really nice out and family stuff is going on end of school we only got like three days left of school so it has just been like i don't know it's been crazy anyway um i'll go ahead and start in with some of the things that i um have finished some finished items okay so um the first thing I made a couple weeks back so it's been two weeks uh, so yeah I made uh, the DRC bag which is the Durab creations bag and that pattern is by Nicole at Durab creations and I'm gonna put a little picture right here I uh, gifted that so that's why I don't have it here with me but it is made out of um, cotton that I had, um, this kind of cotton. So 100% cotton that you can get at like Walmart. Um, what is that, peaches and cream, sugar and cream? <laughs> I lost the ball, I don't have it. I don't have the ball band at all. But anyway, I made it out of that and I played yarn chicken and totally lost so I made um that handle a little bit shorter because I was out of yarn like I had like this much left like we we're talking like yeah <laughs> I only had this much left I thought I had enough but no I didn't I didn't um measure it well but yes please go check that pattern out it is a paid for pattern uh by Nicole and she is a fellow podcaster here. If you haven't checked her channel out, I will link it below. And yes, please go check her out. She's a awesome lady. So yeah, I gifted that. The other one I don't have with me is a blanket I made for my daughter, for her doll. And I don't think it has a name or anything. So I've been trying to use lots of patterns um, that I have already instead of buying more patterns, which is so, so funny because I just bought some more patterns. <laughs> Can't help myself, I'm addicted. So um, this is from Crochet Yourself Calm and it is uh, basically like a granny square, I would say. And so yeah, I can show you this part. So that is what I used. And I used some of the Karen Simply Soft leftovers that I have. I still have like a whole bunch. Um, so yes. So there is the picture if I haven't already showed it. <laughs> it is um, for her doll that she has. My other daughter has a, I just put it right next to me, uh, the book. My other daughter has like a blanket. She's also got like a little like quilt and like all this other stuff. And she's like, oh, my doll needs a blanket. I'm like, okay. So we picked it out and that's what we did. So yes, her blanket. The next one I did is actually a cover up. Okay, now I'm going to move around a little bit. Okay, so I've got a big t-shirt on, so I don't know how well this is going to work out. So this is a bathing suit cover-up, and I believe it's from Heart Hook Home. If I'm wrong, I will um, have it pop up on the screen, okay? Super, super easy. So basics... And it is a little big. It's going to my neighbor. It's not very much bigger than me, but you know. There we go. 
So yeah, it's just a it's just a wrap. You can wear it like that. You can, you know, go like that. Of course, I am short stuff, so you can barely see. <laughs> but yes, she's a little bit taller than me too. So um, yeah. But anyway, and I made this with the yarn that I got from um, a swap that I did with Marianne, Marianne Penner. And yeah, uh, this is Shawl in a Ball and Moonstone. Moonstone? Moonstone. And this is one um, ball. Okay, and this is the leftovers from that, so you can see it. But it is so pretty. I love it. I think this is gonna fit her. She's just a little bit bigger than me. <laughs> Look at this. It is like human as heck out. Um, she's a little bit bigger than me, so I think this is gonna work out great for her. And worst comes to worst, I just stitch it up a little bit. But I told her, I said, please be honest, so. Um, if it works out, I think I'm going to make one for all the girls, <laughs> one for, uh, her daughter and then two for each of my daughters and that, you know, one for each daughter that I have. I have three kids, by the way, two girls and one boy. So I'd make one, two for my girls and then one for me, hopefully. <laughs> We'll see. Anyway, so yeah, that is that. It was really easy. This was my go-to um, kind of mindless crochet while I'm watching the kids and stuff like that. Because it's pretty hard to do like amigurumi or, I don't know, some intricate shawl kind of thing when you're watching the kids, you know. So yes, that is a finished item. Uh, the next one I also don't have again because I gifted it today and I'll show a picture. This is Bowser Lovey, the Bowser the Sleepy Puppy and it's a Lovey and the pattern is from Angelina at the Little Xenia Patch. She has a channel here so please go check her out. And yes, I gave that to a lady at work. She has a granddaughter that was born, I believe, in, I can't think, November. November, she was born, and I already gave her an octopus for Christmas, and then I, a squid. It was a squid or an octopus or a jellyfish or something like that. I don't know. They call it Sherbert, though. They call it Sherbert. And now she's going to get the lovey. So um, she told me that she's going to tell me what the name of it is. Because she come, they come up with names, cute names for all their little animals. So yes, that was a really easy make and super fun. Uh, the only thing that I did <laughs> wrong is I was making the ears for the puppy. And I totally grabbed the wrong hook because for the like granny square that you make for like the, the blanket part, I used a bigger hook for that. But the amigurumi part, I guess you want to say, I used a smaller one because I didn't want any of the stuffing to come through the, the head. Well, I'm working on the ears, working on the ears. And next thing I know, I'm like, man, these are big. And then as soon as I like, uh, you know, fastened off and like, you know, made my little knot and then put it to the side and everything, I was like, oh no, I did it with the wrong hook. Well, I didn't want to redo it because I, I'm going to see if I have it. Oh yes, I do. I have everything right here. Um... I used some fun fur with it. Okay, maybe I don't have it with me. Hold on one second. So that lovey was made. I'm losing everything here. 
with another yarn that I got from a swap from Marianne too. <laughs> Funny. Um, and that one is Stitch Studio by Nicole and Picnic and the colorway is watermelon. And it is 100% acrylic. Okay. And I'll let you take a look at that. Okay. And you can't tell, and I didn't tell either until I started working with it, is that it has a little hint of green in it. And I was like really confused with the green. I was like, what is this green all about? And then I went into... Ravelry and I was trying to be um, a good podcaster <laughs> or whatever. I was trying to get a, a good page where you have like all the details and everything like that and I went to go put it in and I was like oh the colorway is watermelon which means it would have the little bit of green and the pink from the watermelon so there you go. So I used that I used, this is both skeins that I got, okay? And the fuzzy part of it, I used Baby B, Baby Lulu in the color white. And that's 62% polyamide and 38% acrylic. And this stuff is so soft. It's amazing. Um... fell out somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> I'm working on another lovey. So that's why. But yes, I enjoyed the pattern a lot. And if it wasn't because I changed my hooks, the ears would have been a little bit smaller. So yeah, it could be a bunny in, in my case. Okay. The pattern is perfect. But in my case, it could have been a bunny or it could have been like a little puppy. Whatever you... Whatever your heart desires, okay? But I give it some eyelashes, and then she tells you how to do the nose and everything like that. So, yeah. Did that. And, yes, what's next? Um, peanut butter and jelly. Oh, okay. So, uh, there is a person here on YouTube and her channel name is French Fried Crochet but her website is called String a Dingy Dong String a Dingy Ding Dong <laughs> I believe it's called I'll put it below anyway she has amazing amigurumi patterns sweet sweet person really nice person uh, she used to do like podcast styles, but it wasn't like, she wasn't comfortable doing it. So she decided to like kind of revamp. So she's in the middle of like revamping her brand, I guess you could say, and her channel. And she's been like really focusing on her web, um, web page, website. <laughs> anyway. She just did a video. Now it's got to be three weeks ago because I'm like, I haven't been on in a while. So she had these. And these are the peanut butter and jelly friends, I think it is. So, yes. Oh my gosh. These were so fun to make. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I added the little bow, but yeah so fun and easy. Um, I used a lot of scraps that I had. Um, yeah, a lot of scraps. The only one I, this one is from a sweet roll. I pulled out, I believe it's a sweet roll in the colorway, uh, butterscotch. And of course I don't see it anywhere around. I swear. Okay, so yeah, there we go. I finished these and I entered it into um, 
the Darab Creations Imagurumi make along that she is hosting. So, yes, not only does she do patterns and podcasts, but she also does make alongs. So, hosts make alongs. So, yeah, I think that's running until June. Yeah. But so, yep, I put those in there. I wanted to donate these at first, but now I'm not sure. And I was almost thinking about like maybe I should, I don't know, but my kids love them to death. Oh my gosh. They just love them so much. So yes, I made those. The next one is some octopuses. Some octos or jellyfish, whatever you want. So this is what happens, folks, when you uh, watch your kids and don't pay attention to what you're doing and you think that you totally know what you're doing and you just keep going and you're like, okay. <laughs> so this one is kind of like a quasi, like, I just put a whole bunch of pieces together and made it. Okay, so it's not from like one thing or another so it almost it looks like a balloon head <laughs> I think it's because the smile is so kind of funny so yeah there we go and then it's got these little tendrils okay all right and I was thinking about putting it on a uh, keychain so it could be a little keychain or something all right there's one and I was using all scraps. I just had, I got like a bag of scraps and I just started pulling from it and see what I could come up with. So here's this guy. <laughs> I love him. I love it. Look at this, like a little fun fur and stuff like that. See, it has so much texture and like, it's just so fun. I love it. I love this one. Okay, so this one. And then this one is actually supposed to be like an ice cream. Um, like there's like a scoop of ice cream on top and everything like that. But then I just kind of did my own thing. I went rogue on most of it because I was talking with my mom or watching the kids or talking with my husband and blah 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 so yeah I was just having fun I don't I I was I watched Rel from the dabbling hook she did a tutorial for an octo if you're interested and it's really great so please go check that out I will link it below uh, also uh, what is it Emma Gurumi to go Emma Gurumi today. It's an app on my phone. Anyway, I used that too. And then I also used this pattern, which I will link as well. I don't know what it's called. I think it's like ice cream octos or something. But so <laughs> this one looks really mad. Look at this guy or girl. I don't know. I tried to cuten it up with like a bow or whatever. I don't know. What are we thinking? So yeah, they're just kind of fun. And I thought I would donate those to Amber from Ua Crochet. She is doing a make along. She is donating some items to her school that is by her. So I can either send it to her or I can donate it to some people around me. I haven't decided yet. I don't know what I want to do. So I've just been making stuff and then I'm going to decide what I want to do with it. I'll probably just send it to her. So, um, cause I know she will make sure that it goes to the right people. Right. Next one I have is this is hissy the snake. I'm sorry if you're scared of snakes or all. <laughs> this one is really soft. Uh, so yeah. There we go. I was trying to think of stuff that was for boys. Because, not like octopuses aren't. 
Um, I should really call those octos, right? Because they're like jellies, kind of. Jelly octo. Like, I think this one has eight, so this could be an octopus. But these ones just have like crazy tendril things happening. So, I don't know. Anyway. But I was trying to think of something for boys that they would be like, oh, cool, you know, a snake or whatever. So I looked up Amigurumi snake and it was it's a free pattern on Ravelry. So please go check it out. Really easy. Super easy. I think I, I started like here. Uh, you make this later. But I started here. And then I came home from work and I did all of this. So yeah, it was really easy. I want to make a couple more of these. My daughter absolutely loves this. My middle daughter. Oh my goodness. So yeah. Hissy the snake. I have no idea what her name is. Sasha the snake. I think I put on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. And I also put that in the... Um, make along the Darab creations make along okay all right next one i didn't want to cut a lot of stuff but i think i'm gonna have to okay i'm back so the next one i did is i saw on rel from the dabbling hook she was making some of the softies that were on the, is it Crochet Cal Central? I think it's Cal Central Softy Crochet Along. I'll try and link everything below so you can check it out. But they were um, releasing some patterns on there that you could do. The next one I want to do is that Bumblebee. It's so cute. I love it. So... I did a flamingo, okay. I did mess with the nose a little bit more. Like I added some to it and everything like that. And I'll tell you what, I messed up on this. I totally, I was like, and while I was doing it, I was like, this doesn't look right. I was like, no, but I think I'm doing it right. And I just kept on doing it because I just can't stand to be tied. Isn't it? Is that what they say? Can't stand to be tied. <laughs> Not fit to be tied or so. <laughs> I just can't help myself. But you can see where I did like the invisible decrease. I didn't do it the right way. So I did it on the outside instead of the inside. So, yeah. But, and I didn't really, like, figure out what I did until, like, later. <laughs> and, oh well. And I added a little, like, flower. And she's got little eyelashes. And I added some fun fur to uh, the wings so and this is red heart ombre in jazzy this is a uh, black red heart white impeccable and then this is a cotton bonbon that I have from a uh, line brand and then Yellow Karen Simply Soft. I think it's lemonade. And then the fun fur that I held with this is um, Lion Brand Fun Fur in Flamingo. Appropriate enough. So, yes. So, there we go. I thought that would be another fun one. It's been sitting up on my mantle. <laughs> but, yeah, I thought that was, I was like, oh, it came out a little bit bigger than... Um, I should probably donate. I don't know. What do you think, Amber, if you're watching? <laughs> Big? Little? I don't know. Anyway, she's cute. I like her. I don't have a name for her. Nope. Don't have a name for her. Uh, the next thing I have, I'll have to stop again and go get 
So hold on one second. Okay. So the unraveled mitten, and I believe it's block nine. Ooh, and I still have not cut anything. <laughs> um, this is block nine. I don't remember what the stitch is called. I think it, it was like a, the wa waddle stitch or waddle stitch. Okay. So yeah, I think this one turned out pretty well. And this is in Red Heart Super Saver in the colorway. Aruba C. Okay. I was using, um, I love this yarn in Amethyst, but I ran out. And since it is a stash busting cowl, crochet along, I always feel like cowl whenever I say cowl. I know, <laughs> I don't know why. But so, yeah, I think these colors are going to go great together. And there was supposed to be one on Wednesday to come out, uh, but Heather, the person from the Unraveled Mitten who is hosting the cow, she just um, is going to do it next week, which is fine. I think people aren't really like up in arms about anything. I mean, my God, we all have lives, right? So yes. And every time I decide to film, someone is like shooting fireworks off. I don't know why. So if you heard that, there's fireworks going off. I don't know. Okay, so there's that. Also, while I was gone, like I was on vacation or something. No. Uh, it was Teacher Appreciation Week. And for Teacher Appreciation Week, I made bookmarks. So I made an owl bookmark. And I will try and link below all of the um, patterns that I used. So an owl bookmark. I also made uh, little tea bags bookmarks. So I'll put those up there. And I'm trying to think of if any if I made anything else. I think that was it. Oh, I made a flower bookmark. That's what else I did. Yes. I made a flower bookmark. So I'll, I'll post the pictures right here. So for our school, we do like a week long. So you don't have to do it all for the one teacher. You can also do it for like, I did it for the teacher and like another teacher. Like I, one day for the librarians, I did that little bookmark and then like a little bag of tea. Um, you know, and then uh, the owl I gave to another teacher that was like a helper. Or you can do like the uh, gym teachers or a specialist, um, the art teacher, any kind of stuff like that. Um, just to say like appreciation. So every day we did something different and that was just the thing that I made. Um, not for only one day, but <laughs> spread out. You know what I mean? Anyway, so that I made those two as well. And uh, they were really excited to get them. So I hope they really did like them. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, also, I keep forgetting to talk about Mama Llama's May yarn bingo. Have I gotten a bingo yet? No, <laughs> I have not. And I don't think I'm going to. We're so close to the end. And no, I don't think I'm going to. Um, I got the free space. Finish a whip. And that was Joe's scarf. Create something with yellow yarn. That was the Just Feel Better shawl. Create something with a flower in it. That was Bella's blanket for her doll. Learn a new stitch. That was from the Unraveled Mitten. 
share a pattern to the group and I share the peanut butter and jelly amigurumi. Uh, create a lovey. I did Bowser the sleepy puppy. Create something to donate. I have that stuff. <laughs> um, I put the snake in Octos. And then create something with a lot of texture. So I put the octopus as um, something with like a lot of texture. Right? Because it's got like different tendrils and stuff like that. I thought. So, I mean, you could have that as like donate. I mean, I'm still going to donate this one, but this has a lot of texture and I'm still going to donate it though. So, I, I'm i not even getting a bingo, so I don't think anybody's going to be upset about that. And so, yeah, but this is what I got so far. <laughs> you can see where my pen's running out. <laughs> yeah, so... I don't think I don't think I'm going to which bummer but hey you know it is still really awesome to play because then you get to see what other people are creating and you're celebrating their bingos and yeah so it's really cool so if you have not checked that out please go do that she runs through and tells you a little bit about it and um, so yes I will leave a link below It'll be uh, June soon, so she'll come out with a different card. All right, one more thing, and then I will um, show you some new items. So, a lady at my work, so I work for my daughter's school as a lunch aide, okay? And one of the teachers there is going to be having a baby, and she just found out it's going to be a girl. So... Our mascot is the foxes, so I did a little fox hat. And this is Red Heart Soft in Cinnab Cinnabon. I cinnamon. It's something cinnamon. And then this is uh, impeccable with some of that baby Lulu. I think it's called. Yes, Baby Lulu from uh, Baby B, okay? And all I did was add the bow, different from um, Repeat Crafter Me has a pattern, and it is free. Is, is that Sarah? Her name is Sarah, right? Yeah. So yeah, I haven't given this to her yet, because I decided that I wanted to make a lovey. So I started on that. Again, I'm using the same for and this. I'm using a different white for this one. This one was, I believe, a cotton and acrylic blend. Mostly acrylic, so it's fine. So yeah, and you can kind of see it's fluffy. But so I'm going to make a little fox lovey. So that started, and my mom's going to pick me up some uh, Baby Lulu. <laughs> Sounds so funny to say that, but I thought that would be a cute little gift. So hopefully I finish it. If I don't finish the lovey, that's okay. I will just give her the hat. It'll be fine. I'm not going to overthink it. Okay, so while I was gone, it was Mother's Day here, and so... I just want to say happy Mother's Day to everybody. Happy Mother's Day to my own mother. She is an inspiration for all mothers. Uh, she raised three kids by herself. So go mom. Happy Mother's Day. I love you bunches. And yeah. She uh, treated me the day before Mother's Day. She came over. We had um, Chinese food. And um, we watched... Game of Thrones and she's like why don't you go you and Joe because my husband was on vacation still why don't you guys go out for dinner I'm like what's a restaurant <laughs> my husband and I never go out <laughs> rarely rarely go out 
Um, so yeah, we went out and everything like that. Uh, but for Mother's Day, but anyway, so I really appreciate that, Mom. That was awesome, and I love you. Mwah. Love you, love you. For Mother's Day, I will show you what I got. Even though I said, do not get me anything, because I don't need anything. <laughs> He's like, I can't not get you something. So he went and got me two Karen cakes, Karen cotton cakes. And the first one is Sunset Dreams, right? Is that right? Sunset Dreams. So pretty. Okay. And the other one is Lavender Fields. This reminds me of my mom so much. Like this looks like right up her alley. Okay, see that? So pretty. So yeah, I think the girl next door, I'm gonna make her um, one of those wraps in this color and um, Grace, see this, this um, stack of yarn right here? I think I'm gonna make her a wrap in those colors. And then Isabella, picked these out and it is the capri yarn that is cotton nylon and polyester blend and i love this stuff i want to go see if they had like yellow and stuff so isabella's bathing suit is light blue with like a rainbow and a unicorn okay <laughs> so she picked this because her favorite color is blue so um yeah you can kind of see it has kind of rainbow colors and stuff, but it doesn't have yellow or green. The closest thing I have to it is this one. So, I mean, this one is turquoise and this one is poolside, right? Yeah, poolside blue. Let's see, when I get it super close, you can tell the difference. Here. It could, it could be the same. Yeah, no, yeah, but yeah, up here. Yeah. Okay. So that is what I am working on currently and some of the new items. Also, with the cowl that Amber from Ua Crochet was hosting before this uh, new one was the musical, and I made the um, Charlotte, Thousand Kisses Charlotte. She is so nice. She sent me some stitch markers. I like, it was like, everybody's a winner. <laughs> so she sent me this really sweet card and it was so sweet. Seriously, you did not have to do that, Amber, but I'm so glad you did. <laughs> and I'll show you this first. So they're all in here. Okay, now I'll just show you one. And they're little progress keepers or stitch markers. And it has a little sparkly penguin that's totally out of focus. There you go. How cool. And then it has the little um, letter for your hook. Okay. So yes, it was a bag of those, which is so awesome. Yay. Thank you. I love it. And um, also I will put uh, some happy mail. You can see a little bit of it right here that I got from Jeanette in this. I'll add it on. I have to make sure that it's okay that I open it on, um, open it and share it with you. I'm sure it is, but just in case. So otherwise than that, um, yeah, we're going on 40 minutes here. So <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of anything else that I should please make sure that you enter in your 
items, your projects, your projects, into the crochet along that Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter is hosting. I am a moder moderator on there for her, and I'm controlling the Instagram hashtag, so I'll do the hashtag right here. So, yeah, please go ahead. It's spring wearables, so a hat, a scarf, a shawl, um, tank tops. Oh my goodness. There, there has been so many beautiful, beautiful items. So, yes. Please go check it out. I will leave the link below. And to Debbie's... Um, Ravelry, that was my dog, I'm sorry. Ravelry uh, page. Okay. Anyway, I better wrap this up because it's supposed to be storming tonight and my dog gets very, very upset with that kind of stuff. So, <laughs> I better get out of here. Get out of here. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. This community has been so kind and generous. Oh my goodness, like that box from Jeanette. Oh my gosh, I just, that is so special. It is really, really awesome uh, that I've met so many people. Uh, they've shared their stories. I've gotten to share mine. And um, it's just been a really great platform for me to share my items and hopefully inspire you and I am definitely inspired by others I mean can you tell like <laughs> oh like <laughs> look at this oh my gosh it's kind of crazy um but not crazy do you know what I mean because it's this is happy happy everything is very happy here so yeah I just want to thank you so much and thank you for being a part of it. And yes, until next time, hopefully not so long this time. <laughs> uh, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and be nice to each other. Yes. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <music>